We might not always be aware of it, but stereotypes, norms and values about being male or female affect nearly all areas of our lives. We even fall into this trap in connection with social insurance benefits. Depending on gender, there will be different scenarios for examinations and assessments. That's why we need to try a new approach. A study conducted in Skurup, Sweden, revealed five gender traps when patients seek care. The first is the family situation. The second is violence. The third is the diagnosis, the somatic and psychological aspects. The fourth is risk behavior. And the fifth is the rehabilitation plan. Women are asked far more frequently about their family situation and they are more forthcoming in general about sharing it. This makes it easier to miss problems in this area with regard to men. It also cements the stereotype that women shoulder more responsibility for home and family. We sometimes end up medicalizing women, treating the ups and downs of life with pharmaceuticals and sick leave. So remember to ask both men and women about their situation. Violence, threats and bullying are not uncommon but we often miss the signs and symptoms of vulnerability in both men and women. Dare to be frank, to ask if they have been exposed to violent behavior. And remember, it might be the other way around. Maybe this person has treated someone else badly. Don't hold back just because you don't have an action plan ready. In many cases, the first step is to open up, to tell their story, before they are ready to move on to the next step. There is a tendency to miss psychiatric issues in men. We focus on their physical state. When it comes to women, however, they are, to a greater extent, diagnosed and treated from a psychiatric perspective. Turn the tables. Ask women about physical symptoms and men about mental issues. When it comes to alcohol, gender colours society's view of drinking problems. This goes for doctors as well. Since this is more taboo for women, doctors often shy away from asking about risk behaviour. This means that the care sector misses out on vital information that may affect the health of female patients. For men, on the other hand, prevailing norms about men and alcohol may lead to not taking their risk behaviour seriously enough. Even with an identical diagnosis, rehabilitation plans differ for men and women. Men are generally prescribed a plan that focuses on going back to work as soon as possible and there is often more contact between the employers and the healthcare provider than when the patient is a woman. Less emphasis is placed on returning to work for female patients. Employers do not always support women to the same extent as men. Care providers are more likely to accept that women take longer to go back to work and the focus tends to be shifted from their physical issues to their social situation. Ask both men and women about their situation at home, but be careful not to medicalize lifestyle, personal or family troubles. Don't be afraid to approach patients about victimization and violence. Remember to explore mental and physical health issues regardless of gender. Take the risk behavior of both men and women seriously and provide personalized rehab plans free from biased preconceptions. Use our handy gender pointer, a quick checklist of these potential traps when you interact with patients. It will help you ask everyone the same questions and no patients will feel singled out since everyone will be treated equally regardless of gender or other background. By trying a new approach we can gain more insight into health issues as well as provide better care and a healthier working life.